Electric and magnetic phenomena, the study of electromagnetism, can be condensed down rather amazingly into four quite simple equations. And I'm going to explain what those equations mean in a way that's as accessible as I can make it, and it will be fairly accessible. Before I do so, I'm going to introduce the notion of a field, and you've probably heard of a field uh, in the context of a magnetic field, but electric fields also exist. A field, or I guess more accurately a force field, is something that permeates space, but it's not something that we can see, feel or touch, but it's something that certain objects, such as the iron nail in the present, um, such as an iron nail near a magnet, responds to. We can say that the magnet creates a magnetic field, and the nail responds to the field and is attracted towards it. Uh, this is known as action at a distance, or telekinesis. So, when you understand that electric and magnetic phenomenon in terms of fields, these fields which cause motion at a distance, electric and magnetic phenomenon can be expressed in terms of four rather simple equations. And I'm going to show you those equations. They are mathematical, but I'm going to explain them in a way that isn't mathematical, and we'll be able to go through them. So these are the four equations, the four Maxwell equations. Now the first one, you can see, has this E, which stands for the electric field. So this, this, this one is quite simple. This one basically says that electric fields are created by charges. So this, this, this um, symbol here is the charge density. So this one says that, in the, that charges create electric fields, such as the electron, which is a very small um, sphere type object of charge, or um, larger charge objects like the balloon, a charged balloon when you rub it on your shirt. So this, this equation simply says that charge objects create electric fields. Now this second equation here, notice that B, the B stands for magnetic field, and what this equation means is that you can't have a magnetic charge in the same way that you can have an electric charge. You can't have a single object that has a magnetic field radiating from it like you can um, with an electric charge. This one says, essentially, that magnets always come with two poles. There's no such thing as a single pole magnet or a monopole, or, or at least we haven't discovered one yet. So that's the first two equations, and they're actually quite simple in what they describe. Um, these two are a little bit more complicated, but uh, again, I'll go through them. So this one has the electric field in, and it has the magnetic field in, but you'll see it also has time in here. So what this one says is that when the magnetic field changes through time, and the way you can do that is you can move a magnet, for instance, and that will change the magnetic field by, by the motion of the magnet, um, an electric field um, can be created. And one way that you can see this is if you... Um, if you drop a, a magnet through a current loop, um, an electric field causes an electric current to be felt in the loop. So this one essentially says that moving magnets or changing magnetic fields create electric fields, and electric fields um, can be in the form of um, current electricity. So, um, magnet, um, so changing, um, changing magnets can cause electricity. So this is what this equation says. And then there's this final one which looks um, which looks rather hellish, but it's actually, again, fairly simple. All this one says is that if you have um, a current or, um, um, or a changing electric field, on the contrary, then that one can actually create a magnetic field or a magnet. So if you have a straight wire, then the fact that you have current moving through the wire can actually create magnetism around that wire. So two wires are actually attracted to each other through magnetic attraction if, if the current is flowing through the two wires. In this one I have a circular wire which sort of creates an, a type um, of uh, imaginary type magnet, uh, a temporary magnet while the current is flowing. So this one, this equation basically says that currents of electricity also have, also create ma their own magnets or their own magnetic fields. Um, so, so they're actually all quite simple. Now You'll, you'll be able to see that there's a slight difference in notation. This one has got a triangle and then a dot, and this one has got a triangle and an X. And the way that you can sort of interpret that is that these ones 
are sort of talking about the source. So the triangle and the dot means source. So the source of an electric field is a charge, or the source of a magnetic field is, is not a charge. Um, whereas this one is more about a circulation or, or a vortex or a, a flow in a circle. So um, you can see that changing a magnet causes a flow around the magnet of electricity. And with this one, if you have a straight wire, now I've got a curved wire here, but if you have a straight wire, then the flow of electricity in a straight wire causes a magnetic field around um, that wire. So, so you can think of these ones as being a, more like a source of electricity and magnetism, and these ones as being more like a, a, a circulation of electricity and magnetism. So this, this is a really quite simple way of, of thinking about it. Um, and it, the, 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 there is more rigour to be had here, and I will do a video which is far more rigorous in, in what the, these equations actually mean. But this is a simple way that you can think about it, and I, I hope that's helped.